Okay, so we're gonna start with the bad news. Uh, some kind of disease attacked many of my vegetables in this corner of the plot. Uh, so these are the potatoes and it looks like some kind of blight, but it also affected beetroots and lettuces. And lettuces, you see they just went, they just got decimated. So I have no idea where it came from. I mean, I presume, I presume it might be in the list that I brought. Uh, but then again, I cannot really confirm that. So all I'm gonna do for now is try to remove all the affected vegetables, uh, you know, just to make sure that it's not gonna spread all over the place. So I'm gonna remove all those lettuces, foliage of these potatoes from here and, uh, and the beetroots. Okay, so I cleaned up this whole place from leaves and uh, affected plants. I removed all those potatoes from this side. I removed all the lettuces. Um, and I have a problem with beetroot because, you know, beetroot, I would like it to rather grow, but, you know, I'm not sure if there is any way that we can recover this right now. Uh, look at those leaves. You know, they, they're not doing really good. What I can do, what I can try to do is pull out the one that are most affected and try to cut affected leaves from the one that are just starting to, to be diseased. So that's what I'm gonna do, I think. Okay guys, so here we are on the next day. Now I had some time to think about what might happen here. And, uh, you know, at the beginning I thought it might be some kind of blight. And uh, now after doing some research, although not too much, but you know, I found out that this might be some kind of wilt, either verticulum or uh, fusarium kind of wilt. Uh, I checked that these uh, diseases are, are soil borne and what they tend to do is that they do not affect the roots, but only foliage. And I checked the, uh, my uh, lettuces that, uh, uh, you know, that I dug out yesterday and it seems that the roots are okay. So it might be, you know, wilt, but uh, so, how do you counter wilt? Ba basically, what you need to do is solarize the soil. I think that's the best approach. So you leave it uh, clean uh, plastic material on top for six weeks and it's gonna kill all the spores up, under, up to like 20 centimeters under the soil. It will also kill the soil life, unfortunately, but it's still better than fungicide or anything like that because it's not stay in your soil. Uh, so that's, that's what I think it might be. Um, let me know, guys, what you think. So what I think might be the vector of all these diseases, guys, are the leaves that I brought to create my Nordic uh, potato method. Now the leaves that I found were on the pile, lying somewhere. So I didn't know if they were affected by all, this, all those diseases and where they come from. So what I'm going to do next year is make sure that I'm using leaves that I can see, that, uh, that I got it myself and see that they are not affected by anything. Um, why I think it's leaves? Well, it's because um, I have the same beetroot and all year round lettuce, which is growing over there, and they are well, completely not affected. Uh, also, you know, the leaves from here were blown on this side of bed uh, at some point, so I think that's why how, my, how, my, how it might spread it. And I also was watering from this side, so you know, all the spores would come here. Um, also, why I think it's wild is because, as far as I read, the as you can see, I have the lettuce, flashy lettuce, and this is type of Romaine, Romaine type of lettuce. And as far as I read, this wilt uh, do not affect Romaine lettuce most of the time. So, so that's what I think. Now, I jumped into conclusion very fast, and uh, as you can see, I'm solarizing soil already, uh, but I just don't want, to, want it to spread anywhere else. Um, but anyway, let me know, guys. Let me know if you've seen anything like that before, if you have some like this. I mean, three different types of plants affected within the three, four days. Truth is that we had very high humidity, we had a lot of rains, followed by very hot weather. It went from 14 to 25 degrees within two days. And I think this is the best time for fungi spores to, uh, you know, to, to travel, to open and uh, affect uh, some of the plants. So maybe that's it. 
The other thing I've done is I made the solution of one part bleach to four part water uh, and I'm going to use it to remove the, any fungi spores from the tools and uh, clothes that got in touch with the uh, with those affected plants and this is just in case you know if these if these are the diseases that I think they are then I might spread it uh, in any other place in the garden so that might come handy anyway you know so far so good only this patch is affected but if you guys have any info about it any ideas and experience do let me know take care bye